congratulations, Maya, on this. Thank you. Directorial debut and, uh, you know, really, you've done an outstanding job in this movie. I, I really did not know that I would need a box of Kleenex. Okay. <laughs> so that when you start marketing this, yes. that's what you need to put on the okay. poster. Box of <laughs> Kleenex. Kleenex needed. <laughs> Okay, that's um, good. I know that it's you know based on on your on your life and growing up and what happened with you, but you know how much of a cathartic experience was it just getting this all out and going through this process? Um, it was the, writing the script was really uh, incredibly cathartic for me because um, I had tried to write it. I, I feel like I was I, I've been a writer for a long time. I feel like I've been trying to write it for forty years or something. <laughs> I was going this way and that way on it, um, and when I finally figured it out. I don't know. I just saw my parents in a new way. Um, I sort of got to the essence of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I was able to, in writing it, I was able to see sort of a lot of the things, gifts I'd been given by them. And it was the most cathartic. My father died in 1998, so he uh, never read the script. But for me and my mom, she read it. I, I, in writing it, I saw everything through. I saw what she had been wrestling, what she had been up against. Yeah. Uh, in, and I had tremendous appreciation for, I also had, by the time I was finished with it, I had kids of my own. It was, I, I sort of started, really figured it out when my kids were the age that I was when my parents kind of split up and everything kind of fell apart. So seeing these kids and thinking about what, about what we had gone through and what my mother did, I, it was, this is not the most articulate answer. But anyway. No, it's okay. Okay. It's interesting. Um, so <laughs> I saw that my mom had really wanted to give us this future yeah. and that my father's family who that had so much and had, was from a very wealthy family they couldn't care less about education anymore because everyone had gone to the best schools and no one had done anything yeah. so they were sort of like they were over it and they didn't have any they didn't um really care where you went to school anymore but my mom who c comes from a black family up, upper middle you know my grandfather's a doctor they believed fiercely in education um she was like no no that's not you can't you, you can't just throw your hands up. This is your future. You know, yeah. we, I have to make sure you guys go to good schools. Um, and it was hard because they didn't help. They, she didn't get a lot of help. Yeah. Because also, I loved my, my father's family, but they just, they, they, they were just, they weren't Steve Carell and Foxcatcher, but, right. <laughs> but there was something they had a little well, bit that's good here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really darn good to hear. Yes. But no, I, I get it. I, you know, it's a completely different class. Like, yes. just the way that, they know the world, and yeah, it's yeah. the way it is. And it's you're right; it's not like they're bad people or anything like that. It's no. just the way they live life, you know. Yeah. But yeah, and 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 watching this, like you know, I was saying, it just it's heartbreaking to watch, um, you know, what your dad went through. But watching it through through expression of Mark Ruffalo playing him, and you know, as I was saying, there's just nothing this man can't do. And knowing him being a father, and um, I, I just couldn't think of a better person for you to cast? Were you kind of pinching yourself when you got him, or how did that all work out? I was, you know, I was, it was, uh, we, when he read it and he responded, I was so happy. And then we got together and talked about it, and he was so funny and warm, and I felt like, you know, he doesn't obviously strike you as this guy from this blue blood family, but I knew what an actor he was, and I knew that he had the critical, I mean, he did kind of remind me of my dad in a way. He was just so warm and clearly loved being a father, mm -hmm. and he's so funny. And he had a, he's self-deprecating. Yeah. My dad had a very, um, his, his humor was not mean-spirited. And Mark's humor is not mean-spirited. And I really like that. I really like, I, I like when people are funny and they're not mean-spirited. Uh, the, um, it doesn't come from a nasty place. So that's really important to me. And he had all that. And so, I don't know, I just felt like this is the guy. I mean, I mean, who would say no? But, you know, you just never, you, you don't know when you're trying yeah. to get close to somebody you really knew yeah and mark is different in many ways but very much you know had a lot of similarities and here. then another superhero you've got zoe Sol saldana <laughs> what is this like the superhero it's just very kind of ironic right and yeah the, the, green, the, the green and the blue yeah. and the green and yeah the, it's hilarious yeah. but she really uh surprised me in this she was fantastic my god wasn't she great yeah i know i'm so happy uh i'm so happy uh that she did this because what, what was really important to me uh, for Maggie, the mother character, is that she wasn't uh, sad. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there are sad things are happening, but she is an optimistic person full of life. Right. And that she is going to keep going. And, you know, every, the, the happiest people in the world get hit by sad things all the time, and they experience them, but the, the overall energy of that character is one of, I'm a fighter, I'm an optimist, you know, I'm, I still like to laugh, you know, and I really loved the life, I mean, Zoe brought a lot of life to it, 
which I think is really important. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm watching this, um, you know, as I do when luckily living here in Toronto, we get to see a lot of the films before, so yes. this was great, and I'm watching it, and I knew, you know, I knew a little bit about it, but I didn't really read up on the cast. And I'm watching, and, I, and I'm a mom too, I have two kids, so I always love watching kids on screen. And I'm watching these two kids in this movie, and I'm going, oh my God, they're so good. Oh my God, they're so good. <laughs> And then I find out that the oldest one is your daughter. Yes. you got to watch it with that one because she's got a, a future. <laughs> they were fantastic. Did you, Thank how did you. you know your daughter had this in her? She, my daughter is. <laughs> she's amazing. She's always been, I had a friend who always called her personality plus when she was two. <laughs> um, she is just a born performer. And my sister is a performer. She's in this band Pink Martini and yeah, she's yeah. a diva, you know, and so I know I knew that my daughter Imogene was my, like my sister China, and um, we actually though it wasn't just a wild stab in the dark that hopefully it would be good. We, we had a table read with Mark and Zoe and Imogene read, and she was nine, and you know she was she was good. So it felt that was sort of the audition, you know, for for me that made me feel like because it's a risk, obviously putting your daughter out there like that. So she's playing you, right? Yes, essentially she's playing me. That's crazy like when it was all done and you're watching this movie back like what was that like for you as a mom and then what like wow <laughs> no I, I'm fascinated I just feel by like it. in five years I'll watch it and I'll be able to experience it that way yeah. you know it's so hard because I mean you're editing you're it's so hard you you're just fighting so hard to maintain your perspective on the whole yeah. thing you know so it's hard to kind of I have a hard time when I've been working on something really hard to really see it like what now I worked on the Larry Sanders show. Yeah. It was ten years before I could go and just enjoy it like anybody else. You know what I mean? And not see, ah, oh, this was wrong. That was not right. You know. And when I watch the movie, it's like I wish I had had more time on sure. this day and all that. Well, kind you're of always stuff. critical, always. Yes. Right? Yeah. But I'm very. I, I I I felt like the family felt like a family, and I, I that was you know that was what I was really going for. And the girls, they had a really Mark and Zoe were both so playful with the kids, which was hugely. I mean, it's. They just made it feel really warm, and um, so anyway, I'm proud of both. I'm proud of both. Of oh the no, girls. no, they were both both phenomenal. But when I just found out that the other one was your daughter, I just was like, wow, wow, that girl. Yeah, you gotta get her an agent, and <laughs> Jesus. Well, we're trying. I mean, yeah. I will say we are, we haven't done that. We're just gonna. She's just going to school. No, and, good, yeah. and that's important of yes. course but no uh, the world needs to meet her because she's well hopefully they will with this movie, yeah because she's <laughs> very very special okay how cool is it to have jj abrams as your producer yes what's that all about like oh i know you met him in a park like that's so cool well jj <laughs> yes so i became friendly with jj and his wife because our kids played together at the park at our local park <laughs> and i didn't hadn't worked with him ever before and um he jj is great uh, he's he's a I mean he's like he's so successful but he's such a nice normal guy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he said, "What are you working on?" And I told him I was working on this, something different. I was working on this personal thing, and he said, "Oh, I'd like to read that when you're done." And and then he read it. and He said, "I I, I wow, I love this, and I want to help you get it made." So it was helpful, you know. I mean, obviously having JJ because I, um, when you're trying to direct your first movie. People are scared, you know. They don't want to entrust this all this to you. Um, and I think having JJ uh, behind me really helped people uh, jump into, fi you know, finally. It took sure. a long time, it took a very long time to get the financing together. But um, d I know that JJ was helpful. This is the fact that he thought I could do it. Yeah. And I think he, he thought I could do it because he felt like the film, the script had a vision. So he felt like if, if you've got this vision here in the script, I think that you can do it. You know, no one ever knows. But yeah. I, yeah, I mean, uh, ultimately, I mean, it's just such a great, great story. But are, are you hoping that maybe you know people come out of it who who might have people in their families that have uh, you know people who have like bipolar or depression or whatever, and maybe they'll you know maybe it'll help somebody, you know? Well, I hope so. I mean, that is what I that is I would love that. And I um, it was at, at when I when it was at Sundance, it was it did seem like a lot of people um, came up to me and said, you know, I, this is completely what I've experienced and I loved my father, but it was so difficult or I love my mother. so difficult. So a lot of people really did connect to it personally like that. And it seemed meaningful. And I would hope that it's destigmatizing, you know, and that it, it's, it allows people to say, what's, there's no shame in this. You know what I mean? Oh, there's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just a fact of life. Yeah, absolutely. So, what are you working on next? What are you gonna have bring for Tiff for us next year? <laughs> Come on, get well, going. <laughs> I have three kids, so it may, maybe Tiff in three years. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll give you a little break, but you know, and you write with your husband too, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So my husband and I are working on a script um, on a comedy, uh, which is what we. You, I mean, it's, yeah, it's you need to lighten it up a little bit. I think. It's a little bit lighter, <laughs> but still, hopefully, I mean, I'm always about the crime. I'm always like, I want, you know, I like yeah. terms of endearment. Yeah, that's what I always Me want. Me too. I love yeah. that kind of stuff. I love that stuff. Yeah. So that's what my goal. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I, I can't wait for your next thing because I thought this was fantastic. You did such a wonderful job of it, and I really love this. Oh, film. And, thank you. Um, best of luck with with it, and uh, and say hi to my buddy Mark for me. And I I'm will. Really upset okay. that he hasn't come by to <laughs> check me out. You know, really. All right. I will let him know. <laughs> Lovely talking to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Okay.